Hi, I'm Maha Salah from Middle East Monitor, and today I'll be showing you how to make Dawood Basha. Meat and potatoes are a popular pairing, and almost every country has their different variations of these two ingredients together. And today we're going to be exploring the dish Dawood Basha. This dish consists mainly of potatoes and meatballs, but what makes it special is the tangy tomato sauce that it's cooked in. It's spiced with cinnamon and signature Middle Eastern 7 spice, and has pomegranate molasses, which gives both a tangy and sweet taste, making this dish irresistible. We already know that so many Middle Eastern dishes have a story behind their name, and this is the case with Dawood Basha. It's said that this dish was being made for an Ottoman nobleman, Dawood Pasha, or Basha as we Arabs say, but the cook forgot one of the ingredients and he was punished, so the dish was linked to Dawood Basha after that. I have no idea how true this story is, but it's always fun to hear these little stories, and regardless of where the name of the dish came from, I can definitely tell you it's absolutely delicious. The meatballs are the traditional meatballs made across the Middle East, always with parsley and onions and seven spice. I like to add cinnamon to dishes with minced meat because it takes away any gaminess and it gives a nice warmth. After we form our meatballs, we want to make sure we brown them on all sides to keep the juices in and to make sure that they don't crumble in our sauce. It isn't important that they cook on the inside as we're going to leave them to cook in the sauce. When making our tomato sauce, or juice for lack of a better word, we don't need to peel them because the peel will be blended with the flesh. Make sure you add a bit of water to get these going in the blender. The amount of water though will depend on how juicy your tomatoes are. This dish is really easy and comes together fairly quickly, but in order to get the best flavor, you want to leave it to simmer at least 20 minutes so that the sauce reduces and thickens and the flavors intensify. The best part about this dish is that like many other stews, it tastes better the longer it sits, so it's perfect for meal prepping. Serve this with vermicelli rice or dunk some bread in it, and a sprinkling of toasted pine nuts or almonds are the perfect addition to this, and enjoy this ultimate comfort food.